Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Quinice Petway, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Philippians 4.13. I'm Don Hawkins, inviting you to be encouraged with my weekly podcast, Encouragement for You. To subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com. Attention, your withdrawal has been denied by the U.S. government. Picture a world where your every purchase is monitored, tracked, and controlled by those in power to suppress the freedoms of those they see fit. Hi, my name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer and New York Times bestselling author, and right now, I've become very focused on the impending rollout of the central bank digital currency. This is not a work of fiction. It's a terrifying reality looming on the horizon. But there is a bit of good news. I've partnered with Advantage Gold to offer you a solution. They are specialists in converting your traditional assets, like those inside an IRA or 401k, into tangible assets such as physical gold and silver. Don't allow your money to be controlled. Claim your free gold protection kit from Advantage Gold. Call 800-900-8000. That's 800-900-8000. Today's Bible verse is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. She was coming too quickly. There was no time for an epidural this time around. My youngest was ready to make her grand entrance into the world, but mommy wanted to limit the pain. But it was too late. I would have to endure each grueling contraction that seemed to be coming faster and faster. I didn't think I could bear it. It hurt. And at first, I found myself saying I couldn't do it. I was too weak. I didn't have enough strength. The pain was too much. But then I remembered one of the first Bible verses that was etched in my memory from childhood can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4.13. But before we dive into this verse, let's back up to the previous two verses so that we can get the full context of this passage. Paul is the author and is writing to the church at Philippi, which is a Macedonian city. Verses 11 and 12 of chapter 4 say, Not that I speak from want, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstance I am. I know how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. Paul knew what it was like to experience great wealth and extreme lack. And at the time of him writing this passage, Paul was actually in a Roman prison. He was encouraging others while incarcerated to be content and reminding them that he was able to endure and go through all that he was experiencing through Christ. Earlier in the passage, in verse 4 of chapter 4, Paul even encourages the Philippians to rejoice in the Lord always. Talk about being able to do all things through Christ, right? And learning how to be content. That's pretty amazing, this lesson and this message Paul is showing us. So let's look at the definition of the word contentment for a moment. Some of the definitions in the Oxford Dictionary are satisfaction, comfort, fulfillment, even peace or tranquility. Contentment is independent of our external circumstance or contending with our own lot. Contentment means being okay with where we are no matter what the situation is. And so this passage refers to Paul being able to be content during times of need and suffering. He was able to do this through Christ. Like Paul, I had to be content with the fact that I couldn't get that epidural that would have relieved the excruciating pain. And I had to rely on the strength that only Jesus could give me to get through the painful delivery of my beautiful baby girl. So with that being said, let's explore our verse of the day even further. I can do. So what is it that we can do? We can be strong, have power. We have the ability. The passage says all things. And so nothing falls outside of the realm of all. It means any and everything that God sets before us that we have to go through, we can 
make it. We can rely on his strength. We can do it. And it is Christ who gives us strength. It says through Christ. He's the one that enables us, fills us up with power and empowers us. And strengthen means to endue with strength or increase strength. Christ is the one who does this for us. We don't have to do it for ourselves. We don't have to figure it out. We can, praise God, rely on him to give us the strength we need. John 15, 5 says, I am the vine, and this is Jesus speaking here. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. So we can do challenging things, go through hardships and trials, even be in prison like Paul, but still have Christ's strength as our support and hope to keep going. Doing things through Christ's strength doesn't mean we can just do any and everything that crosses our minds or paths. Rather, it means being able to do his will, walk in the things that he has called us to, get through hardships and pain, and handle the curveballs that life throws at us because he is our strength. We can make it through uncertain times, parenting challenges, a collapsed relationship, transitional periods, and a fluctuating economy through him. To the overwhelmed parent, know that through Christ, you can do it. I know it gets hard, but with his strength, you can make it. To the person who lost a loved one and feel as if you can't go on, I know the pain is tough to bear, but through Christ, you can continue to cherish your beloved and move forward to brighter days. To the person with a new assignment, role, or responsibility that God has called you to, remember that you don't have to solely rely on your own abilities. It's through Christ that you can be strengthened. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 reminds us that his grace is sufficient and his power is perfected in our weakness. So where we are weak, he is strong and he being Christ who gives us strength. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for reminding us that we can do all things through you who give us strength. Like Paul, help us to learn to be content in whatever circumstance that is before us. When we feel like life is hard and we cannot go on, remind us that we can make it through you. Renew our hearts and minds when we are weary and help us to rely on the power that comes from trusting in you. Help us remember that with you, there is nothing that we can't do as it pertains to your will and calling for our lives. We thank you and praise you for your love, your strength, your power, and your presence that you make available to each of us. You are truly worthy to be praised. In the name of Jesus, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Christmas. For most kids, it's the most joyful time of the year. But this Christmas, 1.5 million children will spend the holiday separated from a parent because their mom or dad is behind bars. Prison Fellowship Angel Tree needs churches in our communities to volunteer to bless local children with a gift, the gospel, and a loving message from their parent. I believe this is an incredible opportunity for our listeners to share the love of Jesus this Christmas. Many of Prison Fellowship's partner churches continue ministry to local Angel Tree families after Christmas is over. Through this ongoing care, Prison Fellowship Angel Tree strengthens and encourages families every day. Angel Tree wouldn't be possible without the help of faithful volunteers. If you're ready to make an eternal impact in your community, please register today at angeltree.org backslash church. That's angeltree.org backslash church. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! 
Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. Do you sometimes doubt if you're truly hearing God's voice or if it's really your own? Or have you been in a season where it feels like He has been completely silent? Have you been praying for a way to learn how to hear His voice more clearly? Hey friends, I'm Rachel, host of the Hearing Jesus podcast. If you are ready to grow in your faith and to confidently step into your identity in Christ, then join me as we dig deep into God's Word so you can learn to live out your faith in your everyday life. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Hearing Jesus on your favorite podcast app.